All right, absolute beginner all the way up to full human flag and then a bunch of cool variations you might never have seen before. First things first, warning, keep that bottom arm, keep that shoulder pressed all the way out at all times. Never allow your shoulder to sink into its socket. You will injure yourself. It is essential that you keep that arm pressed out at all times. Now these are just the entries. As you see, it's a bit of a twisting cartwheel in which I drive my hips and my belly button up towards the pulling arm. So the bottom arm stays locked and pressed out as hard as I can and then I'm pulling myself up as I do a twisting cartwheel and I drive my hips and belly button towards my pulling hand. So again, I do it here, locked out, and the bottom arm shoulder fully pressed out, and then I go up. Now these are knee pumps. This is just basically a baby flag, not quite a tuck flag because I never reach parallel, but this is a great way to start learning how to lower your hips ever so slightly. This is the V-sit version. If your arms aren't completely locked out the way mine are here, if you're bending either the top or the bottom arm, I highly say that you, I highly suggest, excuse me, that you spend a lot of time in those two positions before you start lowering into full flags, even a full tuck flag like you see here, because you're really going to want to have both those arms fully locked out at all times. If you got to bend the arm, you're just really not strong enough yet, and you're going to want to spend a lot more time in the in the pump flags and the V pump flags. They're, they're going to help you a lot to really build up that basic arm strength to keep locked out arms throughout. Um, also to note, you should probably have your arms in about a three quarter uh, width, you know, of your wingspan. Now here are single leg flags. Once you can do a single leg flag, I highly recommend you start doing the bicycles. These will help out a ton in just understanding movement in the flag and will open you up to really cool variations like the walking flag, which you'll see now. So the walking flag is really just a slight bend at the knee. I flex my foot so that my foot looks flat, and then when I bend my knee, I drive my leg straight, I stomp it, and I drive my hip to the ceiling. Now, as I'm walking back up, as you see, when I stomp, I'm really driving my hips and, and leading up with my belly button, leading that belly button right back to the pulling arm. Now I'm gonna lower and pull out of a full flag. So. Once you can do walking flags, spend some time doing walking flags. They're a little easier than this that you see here. And uh, you should be able to do a, a full human flag in very little time once you can do walking flags. This is a twisting flag. All the flags that I do are uh, belly button up to the sky just because I like the way the light falls better. And all my calisthenics are more flow based. The, uh, the sideways flag is more difficult than the belly up to the sky variation, but I, I'm, I don't really care. My calisthenics are all about flow, such as what you see here. This is the wave flag. I love these. Essentially, I'm just combining a half flag and then whipping out into a full flag. When I whip out, I'm going to pull my hips up ever so slightly and it gives the illusion of uh, rippling in the breeze. Now here are twisting flags. So I, I twist over into this really deep extended V-sit and then whip those legs out. These are killer on the core. Um, you, if you, if, when you do these, don't be surprised if your abs hurt in a way that they've never hurt before. Now finally we're going into flag archers. I'm starting out with a pull archer and then I'm going to go up and then lower back down into a press archer. So essentially when you're doing Doing these archers, the working arm is the one that bends and the non-working arm stays locked out and straight and acts as a pendulum. So as you see here, I'm going to do another uh, press archer because the other one wasn't that clean. So the top arm, the pulling arm stays locked out and kind of swings me along as I press my way in. The pressing archer is going to be a lot more difficult than the pulling archer. So uh, you know, definitely start out with the pulling archers and be very careful with the pressing archer because again, you don't want your shoulder to sink into its socket because you might injure yourself. So uh, the key point to know just make sure you get those arms locked out and the best way to do that is don't jump ahead too quickly. Thanks.